All right, uh, good Tuesday. Here's a quick video uh, on 310, or excuse me, 310, Ooh, uh, 610. The ready, the ready, 610, the ready, and 610, the go. We're going to talk about 610, the go over here. Um, and I know you can't see me, but I'll comment about uh, the go in a minute to help you. The go is really easy. The go is just create some ratios. Uh, if you look at that based on what they give you. In number one for the, for the uh, 610 ready, it's asking you to, uh, for each story presented by the go, sketch a picture. So um, what I'd like you to do is go ahead and stop the video and sketch a picture of number one, number two, and number three. So if you can do that, just do the best you can. They don't have to be great sketches, but uh, sketch those and then come back and I will walk you through all, all three of those. So in question number one, your sketch should look something similar to this, where you have a ladder leaning up against the post, and it talks about a light, and the ladder's 10 feet, and the base of the ladder is four feet away from the building. What it's asking for is, uh, in this, when I would go through and solve, so this is what your diagram should look like, the question I pose to you is, uh, how high is the light? Well, how high is the light is going to be represented by this. So instead of looking at it as, as a picture of a building and a ladder and all that, look at it more or less now as, as, as a triangle. If I look at it from a triangle standpoint, it's a triangle with sides of 10 and 4. And when I do that, and I know this isn't very big, but when I do that, I'm looking for this side right here, which is a leg. So in order to do that, what do I need to use? And I know we've been doing trig a lot. But think about it. I don't know any of the degrees, and I'm not trying to find a degree. What I do know is I know two of the three sides of a right triangle. So in order to find that, I'm going to use Pythag. So I get 100 is equal to 16 plus B squared. And then I subtract 16. Uh, B, B squared is equal to, what is that? Uh, I believe it's 84. Okay. And the value of B is going to end up being 9.1. And the last thing we ask ourselves is, is that answer reasonable? Well, yeah, that answer is reasonable because the hypotenuse is 10. So 9.1 is less than 10. Question number two. Sorry, i got to move the uh, uh, camera here so we can see. But question number two, it's talking about a plane. And I wanted you to go ahead and make your diagram because... I just want you to compare your diagram to mine. Now it talks about the plane being 3,000 feet in the air. Something like this, again, very generic, very good. And it says, talks about an angle of descent of 15 feet. A lot of students want to label this angle right here 15 feet, and that's inaccurate. That is not correct. Planes fly in a straight line, so I'm just going to draw an imaginary straight line that the plane would fly. Now, where is the angle of descent? Think about how much a 15 degree angle is. I'm going to go ahead and draw a 90 degree angle and bisect it. That would be 45. I'm going to bisect that again. That would be roughly 22, 22 and a half to be exact. And I'm going to go ahead and bisect that again, which would be 11.25. So almost, almost 15 degrees. 15 would be just a little bit more than that. As you can see, 15 degrees is not a lot. So if it's not a lot, the angle of descent is actually going to be this angle right here. And that is going to be my 15 degrees. Well, it's not an angle inside the triangle. You're absolutely right. It's not. Okay? So this is where we need to pay attention to certain things. And this is where a diagram is helpful. So angle of descent. And this is a term that they use when, when you're flying. You use descent and ascent. Okay. We could use it in other, other aspects, too. Um, but what, it, what does it want to know? Well, what I do know is the angle of descent and the angle of ascent are the same. We had this whole scenario about when we, before we went on break, that angles of elevation and angles of depression uh, are the same because these are alternate interior angles. And then the, what it wants to know is, it wants to know how far is the plane from the airport. Well, a lot of students would think that distance is Y. That Y distance, that's not how far the plane is from the airport. 
the plane from the airport is this other leg. It is this distance, okay? The plane is actually this distance, x value, the other leg, distance from the airport. So how are we going to solve for that? We're going to solve for that by creating a trig function. Since I don't know the angle inside here, I can't start there, but I do know this angle down here. And I know the value of the leg opposite, and I want to know the leg adjacent. I don't know the hypotenuse, so it can't be, uh, it's got to be a tangent function. So the tangent of 15 degrees is going to be equivalent to the leg opposite over the leg adjacent. When you have an x value in the denominator, cross multiplication doesn't get the variable by itself, but what it does do is it, is it does allow me, what really happens is these swap. And when these swap, I'm going to get x is equal to 3,000 divided by the tangent of 15 degrees. And if I use my calculator, 11,195 or 6, I think it's 96 uh, feet is what it ends up being if you do this correctly. Okay? Um, that's roughly a little over 2 miles. Okay? Because 5,280 is, is uh, 1. It's actually a little less than 2 miles, I think. Uh, and then lastly, we're going to look at the building. There's a gal on top of a building. Let me go ahead and move the camera here so we can see this. And then I got uh, a couple other little quick things for you. And we're done with this video for today. So she's on a building. She's looking down at something on the ground. She's looking through uh, a telescope. How high is the building? Well, it's 30 stories. Each story is 15 feet. So that would be 450 feet. Okay. It wants to know how far is that object that she is looking at on the ground. That's what it wants to know. Well, she's looking down at an angle, a 35 degree angle of, of what? I want to be, be sure. Uh, decline. I don't know why I have trouble remembering that. Decline. Decline, descent, depression. They're all the same thing. Well, again, we have to look out and say, is it the 35, is it the angle inside the triangle or angle outside the triangle? It's the angle outside the triangle, which means the angle of ascent or incline is 35 degrees. They have to be the same. So now we create our ratio. Well, it's not, again, it's asking for how far is the object from the base of the building. That is, that is a leg. I do not know the hypotenuse, so it's a tangent function again. So the tangent of 35 degrees is created by the value of the leg opposite, which is 450, over the leg adjacent. And what happens is we get the swaps. So x is equivalent to 450 over the tangent of 35. And put that in your calculator and see how you do. You want to pause it? Go ahead, and now's the time to pause and see how you do. You've unpaused it, you come back. If you have it, 642 feet, and I ask myself, is that reasonable? And the answer to that is yes. All right, the last thing I'm going to show you is question number eight. Question number eight, I don't have it on the board, but that is um, X, Y, and Z are the side lengths for question number eight. It's hard, copy's hard to see. Question number nine, mo both legs are one. Again, hard to read. If both legs are one, both angles have to be the same. And if they have to be the same, they have to be 45 and 45, which makes the hypotenuse equal to the square root of two. If you were to use Pythag, you'd find that. But also because this is one of my special right triangles, that's the case, and we call this the parent triangle. Why do we call it the parent triangle? Because if I have a larger triangle that is, say, four feet and four feet, I know this one doesn't look it, but my scale factor becomes four. What did I do to one leg to get to the other? I multiplied by four. That means I multiply the hypotenuse by four, four squared of two. That would be its value, okay? They're, they're similar figures. And then question number nine ends up being a 30, 60, 90 triangle. And that's special because if the, the leg is, the short leg is half the hypotenuse or the hypotenuse is double the short leg, however you look at that, and the long leg is always the short leg times the square root of two, or times the square root of three, excuse me. So one square root of three 
but we don't always write, write, the, one, write the one in front of there. Um, so there's, there's those values to help you create those ratios. And all you have to do is create the ratios. The assignment's been posted. If you got questions, let me know.